You've got a half a dozen people there. This is like a Sunday afternoon. If it was like this, you would hear me, uh, you'd hear my smile all the way to downtown. But the reality is, it's not always like this. For Dwayne Rosette, a typical view from within his jewelry store is a crowd of up to 20 people outside. Even though the problem is continuous, it's not dangerous, but it is a perception of people coming by, and we're very concerned with it. For the owner of Rosette by Reed and the next door Tim Hortons building, this congregating point has inventing his frustration. For anyone to suggest that the problem is Tim Hortons is like saying that uh, somebody comes out of a bar and starts a fight, well, it's all the bar owner's fight, fault. Um, the fact is that out on a public sidewalk, it's not the bar owner's fault. It's not Tim Hortons' fault if people hang out here. On the other side of the glass are some that frequent the area. Some people will come down here after work just to catch up with their buddies and say, hey, what did I miss while I was at work? And it's kind of like your own little news feed. It's where all my friends are and it's a good place to have fun. The 500 block of 3rd Street Southeast continues to be one of the biggest problem areas for the police department's high visibility response team. With the introduction of the public safety bylaw last year, members of the bike unit have another tool on their belts to work with. Whether that be people sitting around on the planters, uh, large crowds gathering in the middle of the sidewalk and impeding people. Uh, it just directly relates to the problems that we're trying to solve. We hear a few complaints and, and there's some of the business owners aren't happy, but uh, really we, we're doing our best based upon you know, people have civil rights. The vibe here was a concern when the owner of Local was considering opening his restaurant across the street. But since it's been in business, the crowd that gathers just meters from the front gate has not been a problem. The way we're set up, we want people looking, you know. We want to be looking at, at the street and, and seeing who's walking by and, and whatnot. But I, I can't say that it's been a negative impact on us. Still, Mike Waskalik empathizes with Rosette. Ultimately, while this loitering impacts the image of the entire core, the issue, according to some, is between the business owner and Tim Hortons. The city center development agency says it's willing to help resolve the problem and set up talks between council, police and the owner. Well, I think we might be able to offer some suggestions, um, putting some seating possibly around the side of the building or to the back of the building, so it kind of brings people from the front over to the side. But the man who's owned these buildings for 30 years says he's tried everything. Gospel and classical music outside, meeting with city officials and even changed the way he does business to focus outside of Medicine Hat. Rosette says as long as the sidewalk is public property, there's only so much he can do. In the future, we'll see that this problem, if not addressed, is really going to be a significant problem for downtown Medicine Hat. We'll look one day and say, you know, we could have done something about it.